was an interpreter for the U.S. Marine Corps for 11 years. It's a stint that cost him several of his fingers once the Taliban got to him. And now he's begging President Biden to help save his family. Nasseri joins us now. We are so thankful for your service and your, your collaborating with, with our people, sir. And then we, we hear about the tens of thousands of Afghan people who helped us out in the, over the last 20 years, stuck behind the wall, not able to get in, to get out. Your thoughts, give us, give us what's going through your mind. Uh, thank you. Good evening, everybody. Um, uh, yes, um, I just came uh, from uh, one location. I'm going to other interview. Uh, my uh, parents uh, just moved and saved in Dubai, and my other family, brothers, sisters, and other siblings, they're under control of Taliban. They're hiding in, uh, next to the Kia airport we call uh, uh, Kabul airport. They moved from... Uh, north of Afghanistan, the Taliban, uh, when I was an uh, advisor in uh, uh, Helmand province, they put a $300,000 bounty on my head. They cut my fingers off. They surround my family before, but now they're looking my, uh, at my family to arrest them. But uh, a lot of the um, uh, retired Marine and captain and colonel, like uh, Colonel Mark DeVito, uh, uh, Congressman Chris Smith, John Allen, uh, Jerry uh, uh, Torres, and other uh, folks, they are helping me. They are trying to support me, but right. not uh, Mr. Joe Biden. And I was asking Mr. Joe Biden, uh, I respect you, I like you, but um, the problem is why you forgot us, why you left us behind, why you uh, brought and support Taliban, uh, a majority of Afghanistan, they don't want Taliban. Minority people, they like maybe. But right now, a million, million people, they are trying to leave Afghanistan and they are blamed on American forces. M Mr. Nasseri, you know, I, 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 I'm doing this not for a dramatic effect. I want our audience to understand how ruthless these Taliban people are. Your hands, show us your hands again. The, the Taliban did this to you. Are, you have family still stuck behind the lines trying to get to the airport. You told me some got out, but, but some are still there. What do you want to tell the Biden administration? Um, I'm kindly requesting from Mr. Biden, please save my family, please save those family that they sacrificed for United States. They live behind, they're hiding right now. Taliban, they're, uh, Taliban, they're searching day by day, house by house to arrest the interpreter and the American mm -hmm. allies. Mm -hmm. Yesterday I heard the Taliban, they are knocking every doors uh, during the night and during the day they are, they are named every single uh, people when they are going to the airport close to the Sir. gate, they are taking their pictures and they are targeting them. Sir, I just have about 30 seconds or so. so and, and you are the one of the people that they are looking for, right? The people who collaborated with the United States. 30 seconds, final thought. I love this country, I sacrifice for this country, and I want all my American brothers and sisters to help me and my other uh, American allies. Right. Thank you. S Saber, we will, we will talk to you again. We'll stay in touch with you. Thank you for being here, sir. My pleasure. Thank you. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing